Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny and this is 36 Triangles, Set 2. In this video, you will make a new set of triangles with the facts in a new order. When you are finished, your paper will look like this, and then you will have a chance to take a closer look at the relationships in the triangles. For this activity, you'll need a pencil and a blank piece of paper. Pause the video until you have those supplies ready. The first step is to draw 36 empty triangles. Before we draw the triangles, remember that you can pause the video whenever you like. If you want more time, simply click pause. We'll begin by drawing six triangles across the top. Draw the first triangle in this corner. Draw the second one here. Draw the third triangle here. Draw the fourth triangle here. Draw the fifth triangle here and draw the sixth triangle here. And remember to pause the video whenever you want more time. You'll draw a second row of triangles, a third row, a fourth row, a fifth row, and a sixth row. Go ahead and pause the video now until you have finished drawing your triangles. On your paper, you have six rows of triangles. We'll fill each triangle in with two factors and a product. Let's begin with the top row. I'll read each one to you so you can copy it onto your paper. To make it a little easier to see, I'll also show you each one in a larger triangle here. As I read each one, copy it onto your paper. Let's begin. The first one is 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. The next one is 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. The next one is 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. The next one is 2 times 5 is equal to 10. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. The next one is 2 times 6 is equal to 12. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. The next one is 2 times 7 is equal to 14. 2 times 7 is equal to 14. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 2 times 8 is equal to 16. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. The next one is 2 times 9 is equal to 18. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. The next one is 3 times 5 is equal to 15. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. The next one is 4 times 5 is equal to 20. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. The next one is 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. The next one is 6 times 5 is equal to 30. 6 times 5 is equal to 30. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 7 times 5 is equal to 35. 7 times 5 is equal to 35. The next one is 8 times 5 is equal to 40. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. The next one is 9 times 5 is equal to 45. 9 times 5 is equal to 45. The next one is 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. The next one is 3 times 4 is equal to 12. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. The next one is 3 times 9 is equal to 27. 3 times 9 is equal to 27. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 4 times 9 is equal to 36. 4 times 9 is equal to 36. The next one is 6 times 9 is equal to 54. 6 times 9 is equal to 54. The next one is 7 times 9 is equal to 63. 7 times 9 is equal to 63. The next one is 8 times 9 is equal to 72. 8 times 9 is equal to 72. 
The next one is 9 times 9 is equal to 81. 9 times 9 is equal to 81. The next one is 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 6 times 6 is equal to 36. 6 times 6 is equal to 36. The next one is 7 times 7 is equal to 49. 7 times 7 is equal to 49. The next one is 8 times 8 is equal to 64. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. The next one is 3 times 6 is equal to 18. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. The next one is 3 times 7 is equal to 21. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. The next one is 3 times 8 is equal to 24. 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Let's move to the last row. 4 times 6 is equal to 24. 4 times 6 is equal to 24. The next one is 4 times 7 is equal to 28. 4 times 7 is equal to 28. The next one is 4 times 8 is equal to 32. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. The next one is 6 times 7 is equal to 42. 6 times 7 is equal to 42. The next one is 6 times 8 is equal to 48. 6 times 8 is equal to 48. And the last one is 7 times 8 is equal to 56. 7 times 8 is equal to 56. Now you have completed all 36 triangles. In a moment, you'll take a closer look at the triangles, and I encourage you, when you do, to think about big ideas and strategies. For example, when you think about the product of 4 and 6, you can also think about the product of 6 and 4. If you know that 6 times 4 is equal to 24, then you also know that 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Another tip is to try other strategies like doubling and halving. Let's say that you aren't sure what 3 times 8 is equal to, but you know that a useful strategy is to double one of the factors and to find half of the other factor. If you double 3, the result is 6. And if you have 8, the result is 4. Then you can multiply 6 times 4, which is equal to 24. So 3 times 8 is also equal to 24. You might find this strategy to be very helpful with some facts. Remember that you can explore these facts by covering them with three pieces of paper. One piece to cover the rows that you are not focusing on yet, another piece of paper to cover the products, and a third piece of paper to cover the factors. Then slide this paper to reveal the factors. Think about what the product might be and say it out loud. Slide this paper to reveal the product then think about how the factors are connected to the product and repeat the process. Slide this paper to reveal the factors, think about what the product might be, and say it out loud. Then think about how the factors are connected to the product and repeat the process. Slide this paper to reveal the factors, think about what the product might be, and say it out loud. Then think about how the factors are connected to the product and continue. When you finish, Shade in the facts that you feel you are becoming very familiar with, so your paper might look like this. Then, when you look again, you might find some connections and some relationships that you did not shade in at first. For example, when you multiply by 2, the result is the same as doubling. If you double 6, the result is 12. If you double 7, the result is 14. If you double 9, the result is 18 so I'll shade those in as well. Or you may notice a connection related to multiplying by 9. 5 times 9 is 5 less than 50. 3 times 9 is 3 less than 30. 
4 times 9 is 4 less than 40. 6 times 9 is 6 less than 60. 7 times 9 is 7 less than 70. And 8 times 9 is 8 less than 80. Or you may try a strategy like doubling and halving with a fact you don't know yet. For example, instead of 4 times 6, I can think of this as 2, which is half of 4, times 12, which is doubling 6. 2 times 12. I can work out that 2 times 12 is equal to 24. So I know that 4 times 6 is also equal to 24. Now it's your turn. Work through these relationships, covering them with paper, thinking about them carefully, shading in the ones you are becoming familiar with, and looking for new ideas. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is 36 Triangles, Set 2.